Have you ever wondered what the fastest planes in the world are? In this video, we'll take a look at the top five fastest planes ever built. These planes are capable of reaching speeds that are almost unbelievable, and they have helped to push the boundaries of human flight. Number one, North American X-15. The X-15 program was a joint project between the United States Air Force, USF, NASA, and the United States Navy, USN. It was designed to study the effects of high-speed and high-altitude flight on humans and aircraft. The X-15 was a rocket-powered aircraft that was launched from a modified B-52 bomber. It had a maximum speed of Mach 6.72 and a maximum altitude of 67 miles. The X-15 pilots were some of the most skilled and experienced pilots in the world. They had to be able to handle the extreme G-forces and temperatures that the X-15 could generate. The X-15 program was a major success. It helped to advance our understanding of high-speed and high-altitude flight, and it paved the way for the development of future aircraft, such as the SR-71 Blackbird and the Space Shuttle. The X-15 is still the fastest manned aircraft ever flown, and it is a testament to the skill and ingenuity of the pilots and engineers who made it possible. Number 2. SR-71 Blackbird The SR-71 Blackbird the fastest and highest flying operational manned aircraft in the world. The SR-71 Blackbird was developed by Lockheed in the 1960s as a long-range strategic reconnaissance aircraft. It is powered by two Pratt and Whitney J-58 turbojet engines, which allow it to reach speeds of Mach 3.4 and an operational ceiling of 85,000 feet. The Blackbird's design is optimized for high-speed flight. Its fuselage is made of titanium, which can withstand the extreme heat generated by flying at Mach 3-plus speeds. The aircraft's wings are also swept back at a very high angle, which helps to reduce drag at high speeds. The Blackbird was used by the United States Air Force from 1964 to 1998. During its service, it was used to gather intelligence on Soviet military installations and activities. The Blackbird also played a role in the Vietnam War, where it was used to conduct surveillance missions over North Vietnam. The Blackbird was retired from service in 1998. However, a few aircraft have been preserved and are on display at museums around the world. Number 3. Lockheed YF-12 The Lockheed YF-12, a prototype interceptor aircraft that was developed by the American company Lockheed for the United States Air Force. The YF-12 was based on the SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft, and it shared many of the same features, including its distinctive long, slender fuselage and swept-wing design. However, the YF-12 was equipped with more powerful engines and a different weapons system, making it capable of intercepting and destroying enemy bombers at high speeds and altitudes. The YF-12 first flew in December 1963, and it quickly set a number of speed and altitude records. In May 1965, one of the prototypes achieved a top speed of Mach 3.2 and an altitude of 80,000 feet. The YF-12 was originally intended to be produced in large numbers, but the end of the Cold War led to a reduction in funding for interceptor aircraft. As a result, only three YF-12S were ever built. Number 4. Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25 The Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25 is a Mach 3 plus Soviet interceptor aircraft that was developed in the 1960s. It is one of the fastest combat aircraft ever built, with a top speed of Mach 3.2. The MiG-25 was designed to intercept high-flying strategic bombers, such as the American B-52 Stratofortress. The MiG-25's development began in the early 1960s, in response to the perceived threat posed by American strategic bombers. The aircraft was designed to be able to fly at very high speeds and altitudes in order to intercept bombers before they could reach their targets. The MiG-25 first flew in 1964 and entered service with the Soviet Air Force in 1970. The MiG-25 was exported to a number of countries, including India, Iraq, and Syria. It saw combat in a number of conflicts including the Iran-Iraq War and the Gulf War. The MiG-25 also shot down a number of American reconnaissance aircraft, including the Lockheed U-2. Number 5. Bell X-2 Starbuster 
The X-2 program was a joint project between the United States Air Force, USAF, and Bell Aircraft Corporation. The goal of the program was to investigate the aerodynamic characteristics of aircraft flying at speeds of Mach 2 to Mach 3. The first X-2 aircraft made its first flight on November 18, 1955. The aircraft was piloted by Captain Milburn Apartment. The flight was a success, and APT was able to reach a speed of Mach 2.87. On September 27, 1956, the second X-2 aircraft made its final flight. The aircraft was piloted by Captain Apt again. During the flight, Apt was able to reach a speed of Mach 3.2. However, the aircraft began to experience aerodynamic instability at this speed. Apt attempted to eject from the aircraft, but he was unable to do so before the aircraft crashed. Apt was killed in the crash. The X-2 Starbuster was a dangerous aircraft to fly, but it also helped to pave the way for future generations of supersonic aircraft. It is a testament to the skill and courage of Captain Milburn Apt that he was able to fly the X-2 to such high speeds. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.